Very special tactic today is we are going to have a tactic that took Bayer Leverkusen and turned them into Europa League champions and also made Huddersfield get promotion in the first season. It's an absolute banger of a tactic. Let's get into it. So guys, it is Josh from FM Scout, and today we have got an Ange-inspired tactic. That is right for any Tottenham fans. We've got an Ange-inspired tactic. It's a 4 3 3 4 5 one as Nap likes to say. It absolutely cooks with all levels of teams, as you're going to see in the video. Let's waste no more time. Let's get into it. I think, first of all, guys, we've got to talk about this Huddersfield team. They are absolutely remarkable. What we've done with them was remarkable. Didn't do the best in the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup. We did win, the, obviously, the playoff final in 4-2 fashion. And you know what? We didn't even get lucky by doing that. We actually had a very strong league performance as well. Finishing in 4 fourth place only you can see here only seven points off the top three points off obviously second place and one point off getting in third place as well so a very 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 strong season from to be fair Leeds Huddersfield Southampton Leicester and Norwich top goal scorers top most assist in twice so I mean realistically we're honestly putting on a great display and again that playoff final was quite a comfortable one being said in a 4-2 fashion stat wise we're not going to feature in absolutely lows but we are going to feature in a couple that's going to be most points at 116 most shots at over 840 and to be fair, possession-wise, we're not going to be on there. Conceded and defensive, we're not going to be on there. We are literally one of the weakest teams in the league. The fact we've outscored teams like Norwich, Leeds, Leicester, I mean, honestly, it's absolutely remarkable. It's a great tactic and one I'm very proud of. And if we go over to this right now, we are going to be conceding over a goal a game to be expected with a Huddersfield team. But we are going to be going out and scoring 2.37, meaning we are scoring a goal extra is what we are going to be conceding every single game. Over 17 shots a game and 87% pass completion and attack win ratio coming in at 66.53 a really good start for the weakest team another weak team just to sprinkle into the mix that is going to be citadella in the Serie b they are predicted to finish in 12th place right here when medina did finish and we've come out and actually put on a very good display to be honest with you i mean we are talking yes the league was close it was a three point difference between us and palmer but i'm just so impressed with taking them from 12th to first place like i was aiming to obviously try and get in the top four i'd be lying if i said i wasn't but the fact we've come out and done that we only lost five games in the entire league yes we did draw a fair few games but as did Palmer going over to that Serie B stat we are going to pick up the top goal scorer again third place when it comes to assists in terms of the actual team stats so it is going to be yeah this is more like it most points per game most goals fewer shots against most shots for most dribbles being made as well possession wise even in the top eight on this occasion with 54% of the ball we are absolutely cooking up a storm in this Serie B now, of course, going over to the data hub, very, very good indeed. It's actually scoring one plus goal. So we are going to be conceding every game. Over 17.5 shots a game, an 87% pass completion, very similar to before. An attack win ratio of 75.66. We absolutely cooked. Now over to some of the stronger teams. That is going to be Bayer Leverkusen. Obviously still not the strongest in the league behind Leipzig, Dortmund and Bayern in the game. We have come out and actually thrashed the Bundesliga, only losing two games, 88 points on the cards. Winning Europa League, 3-2 over Liverpool as well which is a very tough final. The Poco, unfortunately, buying were a little bit too much for us, but it really doesn't matter because I'm very happy winning the Europa League. Winning the Bundesliga as well in itself is a massive accomplishment. You can see here Victor Boniface comes in with 29 goals, also picking up the highest average rating. Hoffman and Florian Wirtz both on 13, finishing in joint first when it comes to the assist category. And also, most clean sheets picked up by a goalkeeper, so defensively, really, really sound with a slightly better team. 20 conceded, 20 clean sheets, most dribbles being made. Possession-wise, we're going to be ranked fifth, which is still very, very good with 54% of the ball but also have the fewer shots against the most shots the most goals and the most points per game outclass and Bayern Dortmund and Leipzig to some extent 2.59 goals a game meaning we are going to be actually scoring two more but we are going to be conceding bang on 20 shots a game bang on and 86% pass completion basically 87 that always remains quite consistent and the tackle win ratio not the highest it's ever been but we didn't actually get that many bookings so 74.64 is actually quite a good stat line save the powerhouse to last and that's what we've done that is going to be PSG, where we actually go invincible in the league, 29 wins and five draws, absolutely destroying every other team. And some teams can put up a fight in here. I know PSG are always the strongest, but this league just this year did not seem to be that case at all. The Trophy de Champion, we did win quite comfortably in 4 1 fashion. And of course, going over to this French league table, what we're going to do first of all, we see Mbappe and Dembele pick up rank one and rank two goals being scored. Mbappe, Dembele, and Hakimi, one, two, and third in average rating. And Mbappe and Fabian picking up the most assists with 16 and 14. Donnarumma maintains the most clean.
clean sheets. Player, player, Mbappe, player of the match is going to be player of Mbappe, more or less, with 15, and Dembele picking up six as well. Going over to the stats, we are going to be featured in a lot of these. The fewest conceded at 13, so good at the back with a team like this. Most clean sheets, over 800 dribbles made, 840 to be exact. Possession-wise, we're going to be in fifth place with 55% of the ball. Not a very high average across anyone in this league for some reason. Fewer shots against at 133. Most shots are over 906. Goals scored... I mean, absolutely brutality, incredible from us, and also the most points per game. Now, if we take a little second to preview the data hub, 3.47 goals a game, only 0.38 conceded, one of the best defensive displays I have seen from an app tactic. Now, I know it is with the strongest team, but still, remarkable. Over 26.6 shots a game, an 85.99% pass completion, and a tackle win ratio covered in of 78.14. One of the games we have to watch is going to be this playoff final, you can see in 4-2 fashion, and we got off to a very strong start here quite early on. On. It's a little bit of a scrappy one at the end, but six minutes, we are going to find ourselves 1-0 up. They do find a way back into the game with quite a good set piece. I'm going to give them credit where it is due, but we bounce back as we do, winning it off McMahon, into Hogg, into the midfield, into Wilde. He's going to take a touch, drive, and that is a finish into the top right corner. If there's a place to do it, the playoff final is where you want to be doing them sort of finishes. As now we actually are going to find ourselves 3-1 up, a great bit of dribbling, a bit of a lucky finish, but do you know what? I'm going to give him full credit because he did deserve that goal after obviously creating the space, dribbling past everyone. A bit of a random header there as Nichols forgets he has hands in goal. We do see it out 4-2 with just quite a basic but effective set piece. The Europa League was not so smooth though as we do go down 1-0 inside of four minutes. But luckily we come back as we do with tactics from Nap and we absolutely put on a masterclass for this goal. I mean, how beautiful was that to watch? I mean, the goalkeeper maybe could be doing better from the finish. And we go again and we're like, do you know what? I want more of this. Xhaka right over the top into Adley. Little great touchdown. And Boniface is never going to miss from that angle at all. Put on a plate for him. And you know what? We go and get another one. A little bit of a strange goal, I want to say, as everything that goes wrong for Liverpool does. They do get a consolation goal, or potentially could have been more than a consolation goal, obviously, at the time. It was a decent goal, to be fair. A little knockdown from Salah into Darwin. But we won the game. We've got to take the final. Of course, now over to your favourite part of the video. If you are enjoying, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the FM Scout channel. If you do enjoy tactics, come over to my channel as well. You can find me in the description. We just hit 20k the other day. We've got tactics dropping almost daily, once every two days. Hopefully I see some of you boys there. But let's go over it then. So the sweeper keeper is going to be on support. An inverted wing back on support on tackle harder on the right. And that's going to be exactly the same for the left hand side. I really would not advise switching from inverted roles because it works really well within this tactic. A ball playing defender on the left on dribble more, tackle harder and mark tighter. And that is also going to be replicated for the right hand side. Going over to the midfield is going to be a DM on support on tackle tackle harder again a role I would not really look to change because it's quite vital in the team central midfielder on the right on support I'll get further forwards move into channels and tackle harder I will say I personally think a box to box would also be a viable option in this area a central midfield player on attack on move into channels and also tackle harder again you could use a Mazala but why would you a central midfield player on attack is by far the better role in this match engine on the left hand side is going to be an inside forward on attack on hold up ball run from position sit narrower and also tackle harder and that's going to be exactly the same for the right hand side so these players are going to get very involved on the left and right flanks up front is going to be the advanced sword on attack simply on tackle harder team instructions let's talk about it so it is going to be based off a custom tiki tacker on the attacking mentality it's going to be set to fairly wide pass into space shorter higher run at defense and also low crosses so again it's not going to have the most possession based sort of theme despite it being tiki taka obviously quite aggressive run at the back line a high tempo if you wish to play a more possession based football you can simply click dribble less maybe lower the tempo a little bit you might not score as many goals but you are going to have better levels of possession if you wish to do so in transition it's going to be quite simple counter press counter distribute quickly and roll the ball out meaning it'll go to anyone across the back line and the playmakers across the out of possession the much higher defensive line the high press and line of engagement much more often prevent short goalkeeper distribution get stuck in and step up more and that is going to complete for you boys this incredible 4-3-3 and inspired tactic a lot of fun to play with i will say if you have enjoyed be sure to leave a like subscribe to the fm scout channel check out the variety of content me and jake provide and i'll catch you in the next one